All right, so I'm gonna ask you to go in and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Hey. Why first get the bread? No, we don't need it. Oh, come on. I need you to feed Emily one of those fours. Oh, I don't like your butter and jelly. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. I know you uh, Let Emily give that one to you now. <coughs> All right, so what did you have to do to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Do the same thing at the same time. Okay. Did you both want to do the same thing at the same time? No. Did you, did you have a different idea about how you wanted things done? So let me read another scripture for us. And this comes out of Ephesians 5. So submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. The husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Now as a church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church, and gave himself up for her to make her holy, just as Christ does the church. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, as the two will become one flesh. Does that sound familiar? Marriage is a wonderful thing. It's good to have good godly examples for a marriage in your life, but sometimes that doesn't happen, but that's not an excuse, because God is our ultimate example.